Hey everybody, welcome back. A lot of you guys have been asking me a bunch of questions over the past few weeks, and one of the questions I've been seeing over and over and over again is, hey Michael, how can I trade while at work without getting caught by my boss? So today we're gonna to take a deep dive on how to do this. It's not as hard as you guys might think, it just takes a little bit of skill and finesse, and I will teach you guys all of that. So let me explain this as easily as I can right now. All of the prep work that you guys are gonna be doing for day trading while at the office is going to be done the night before. And it's gonna be hard to start off with, but then it gets extremely easy and let me show you what I mean. So you guys are gonna be looking at about 10 to 15 different stocks, all right? Gonna be quite a few. You're gonna be using that first night to do technical analysis on all of those stocks. That way you guys can be ready for any day trading opportunities. Right now, just as an example, I'm using uh, Bitcoin here. You can use cryptocurrency, stocks, forks, whatever your trading style is, okay? And then from here, you wanna have a price target of when you guys wanna be buying in at that support level. And then using Fibonacci extension tools, you wanna be looking at some important levels of resistance that you guys might wanna be selling at, right? A little bit of resistance here, some resistance here, some resistance here, a little, should be a little bit of resistance here, but not too much, okay? And then this is what's gonna make it so much easier. On the first day, it's gonna be annoying because you have to draw all these lines up on like 15 different charts. I know it's gonna suck, but the following day, all of those lines should be fairly similar. You're not gonna be seeing too much deviation from what you saw from one day to the next. That way, you're only gonna be adjusting about maybe one stock, maybe two stocks of technical analysis at a time per night to kind of reevaluate what, what, what everything is doing, all right? So, now that you have that you know, under your wings, you guys are gonna have that support limit here. You guys are gonna do one of two things here. If you guys are a little bit more cautious, that's fine. You guys may actually just have an alert and add some type of an alert onto your uh, trading view charts that way, if the price hits your little red box here or your little price target zone, you guys will be say, hey, oh, I got an alert, time to go buy. And if that's the circumstance, while you're at work and it hits the support level, you guys will quickly pull out your phone and you'll just simply buy in really fast, nice and easy. Don't really worry about it too much. Your boss isn't gonna care if you're on your phone for like less than 30 seconds. It's gonna be less than 30 seconds for the trade, okay? If you guys don't wanna do that method of doing an alert, you guys could simply have a stop loss and say, hey, the start of this box is at 28,937. Let me just put a limit order right there and with a 10X leverage or something like that if I'm trading Bitcoin. 10X leverage, uh, you know, a limit order at 29,925, all right? So let's play this out here and we're at the office now. Okay, it hit. So you guys have either pulled out your phone, right? you guys have either pulled out your phone, made the trade, uh, or with an alert, or you guys already had it kind of situated there, and both are fine. After that, this is the important thing, and you guys could do this whenever you guys want to, because usually when we hit support, we kind of stagnate for a little bit. It's not like we're usually just crashing through support levels. I want you guys to go onto your phone very, very quickly. This will take about 15 seconds max. You guys are just gonna put a stop limit order on top of that trade. So that means if the price were to continue breaking down below this level of uh, this buying opportunity here, you're gonna sell and take a small one to 10% loss. I say 10% loss just because if you're trading with 10X leverage, if you have a 1% stop loss to you, that's gonna be a 10X loss, okay? However, if you do well, it could be more than, you know, more than just 1% gains, of course. After that, you have a stop loss here. And this is very easy to do in front of your boss. You just hop on your phone. You can even hop to the bathroom very fast. Bathroom is usually the perfect escape in my my opinion. Um, and you only have to do this maybe once or twice a day. Who right. You can use the bathroom twice a day, I assume. Um, so now you have a stop loss here in case we were to crash. Now you're looking okay. Now, at this point in time, you're really not focusing on this too much here. You may just let it sit for a little bit of time and you're just patiently waiting it out. And you may even notice as you guys do these trades at work, you may buy during the workday, but you guys may not actually sell until the following workday or until later on that night. It just happens that way. Nobody knows when a big pop is necessarily gonna happen. You just know where your stop loss is gonna be and you know what your price target is, okay? And here's the fun part. While at work, if you guys want to, you can continue to move up the stop loss here. Like, hey, we started off down here, now we're, we, then we went here, now we're up a little bit higher, and maybe I can even go a little bit higher than that, but you wanna make sure you're not going too far ahead of yourself, right? But what you've done now while at work is you've you've made sure that no matter what happens, the market could crash and you are still walking away with a profit. You are still walking away with a profit, which is the most important thing you guys need to be focused on if you guys are trading while at work because your mind is gonna be focused more on work, of course. But the fact that you guys made some money during a trade, it always boosts up your, your day, right? Now, as time goes on, you can keep moving this up more and more and more, if so to speak, and then you're just kind of waiting, you're waiting, and then boom, you hit your price target. But the time between this and 
this point and this point was about a day and 18 hours. So you may be actually buying at work and selling at work, but um, there's two ways to do this. You guys will have that uh, limit sell order there. So if the price reaches your price target, you guys will automatically have a sell and you guys will take your profit. Or just like before, you guys could simply add an alert, right? onto Bitcoin or onto the, your chart on TradingView and it, it'll give you a little bit of a pop-up on your phone or an alert on your phone, whatever it may be, to tell you guys, hey, go sell your position, you've reached your price target, all right? It's as simple as that. You guys just have to have all of that technical analysis done the previous day and each day it'll get easier and easier and easier. So if you guys did do that 10% uh, you know, buying opportunity here and you guys bought the zone, well, guess what? You would have been down about 6% temporarily because this is a leverage play. But then if you would have just trusted the technical analysis and went back to work, uh, about a day later, you'd be up about 4.8%, which is about 48% increase for just holding for a day in uh, 18 hours, okay? So imagine you're in an office, you've just made 48% on your trade for holding for less than two days. You're going to be very excited about that, and then you can put more effort into your work and probably get that raise that you really desperately wanted, right? Have a good day, everybody.